Hey Jack, all right? Morning, yeah. afternoon, Good. whatever it is. Afternoon, morning. Um, yeah, so hi guys and, and thank you for um, tuning back in. Um, Mike and I were talking before um, about what to do for episode five. Um, and I know we said last week we were going to have a bit of an argument. We started having an argument and then we decided we were just going to click record. So that's what we've done. <laughs> so basically the idea for episode five, um, the debate um or the argument or however you want to we'll let you judge that at the end of this this um classroom but basically i've been doing some research and looking into how um how a state agency has changed and it has changed you know in in the last 30 days or, or 37 days or, or however long yeah. it is um, four four weeks four weeks five weeks coming up i think i don't even know now i don't even know now <laughs> um it's got the argument there how many days has it been <laughs> i know i know it's crazy. But I think, um, yeah, and we wanted to kind of talk about how it's changed and, and in particular, what has changed at Roland Gorringe for us during the lockdown period. And how I wanted to, to start this was I was reading through some points that I'd found online. And then Mike was kind of arguing and, and, and talking about how we do it and, and, and what we do. So we're just going to kick it off with um, the, the, the first thing I think I really want to talk about. And I know we've spoken about it before. And, and the headline here that I'm reading is estate agents go virtual and homeowners research during market pause. So firstly, if I pull the first thing out of that, which is homeowners um, research during market pause, market pause will come to you in a moment. Definitely in terms of how many people are on right move, that the, 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 our kind of property performance reports and seeing what, what the properties that we're marketing, how much exposure they're getting at the moment is phenomenal. So many people are on right move, you know all day that they're, they're at home they're working from home but they're still browsing and looking for properties so whilst I, I don't really agree that there's a market pause um there is a huge amount of buyers and yeah i think that's a key point there would you agree with that michael yeah so so, so yeah pretty half half agree i think it's, it's really interesting um the market part of the market pause that that i agree with here, or i've seen or we've seen um is during the sales progression progress so um some of the properties that we've got going through in our uh, what we call our pipeline so properties that are under offer with with rain and gorange a lot of those have paused where people don't want to commit to do that final move um until this lockdown's done and, and people come out of furlough and, and all those those sort of things so i've definitely seen a pause there but actually yeah with with people wanting to move we're getting right move requests we're getting um people phone us up people email saying you've got this property that property um and it's weird we didn't expect it i didn't expect it um jack is always the more positive of the two of us um and, and but i didn't expect it i thought we were gonna go into this lockdown manage our pipeline through get as much as through as we can but new business was something we would forget about that will happen you know hopefully yeah you know in middle of may when we come out of this if when we come out of lockdown however <laughs> um three sales in um we uh, we were really surprised and and that to touch on your first point is very much because of virtual property virtual viewings <laughs> video yeah tools. that has been the key and i think the real shift we're going to see in the property industry now um and i'm just glad we've been able to start stay ahead of that shift but that is definitely a shift coming yeah yeah, it definitely is. And I think, yeah, the, the, the state agents are going virtual. I know Roland Gorings were the first to do that and then others followed too. But um, yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> no, that, so Mike, what I want to do here is I want to just mention a couple of points. I'm going to go on the negative. As you just said, I'm, I'm normally the positive. I'm going to go on the negative. Oh. And I want you to go on the positive. So I think if, if you can, can you go on the positive from a Roland Gorringe point of view? Yeah, if that's right. yeah of course. Oh, yeah, so, go, go. Sorry. I'll take the lead. Right. So first point, not enough properties come into the market to provide meaningful new seller asking prices this month. So I'm going to go on the negative. And I'm going to agree with that. <laughs> Which is not my actual opinion, but I'm <laughs> for, the, for the, the purpose of this classroom, I'm going to agree with it because I really want to have an argument with Mike. Um, there are not enough properties coming to the market. Not as many as we see typically this time of year. The April that we are having has been absolutely incredible with the weather um, in, in, in down here in East Sussex. Um, and I think if we weren't in the situation we we're in, the market would be absolutely flying because it was really building after the um, general election that we had in December. You know, and, and there was a bit more confidence in what was happening. And I think people were really starting to, to well, we certainly saw it in, in Uckfield, that things were really starting to move. And I think um, 
that is disappointing. Obviously, the situation that we're in, but there's not a lot of properties coming to the market. And the, the kind of the, the, the house prices were being, you know, very stable and people were prepared because of the good schools, the links and everything that this area offers. I think people were prepared to, to pay that premium again. So actually, I would agree with that point that there isn't enough coming and there's not enough um yeah, kind of comparable evidence of properties that are being sold to say, yes, actually, do you know what? If I was buying right now, I will pay that. I will pay that premium. Disagree. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know. Um, so you only have to go on right move each day to see, yes, there isn't a lot of property coming on. There aren't people doing reductions, but there also aren't new properties coming on. Um, but why why should that be a negative? Let's look at the positive spin on that. Is those houses still on the market? Um uh, houses with Roland Gorringe, other houses with other agents. Um, they are getting maximum exposure. It's this this sort of lockdown is exactly the same as the Christmas period when it comes to the property market. You've got a lot of people, um, some unfortunately have been furloughed and not working, um, you know, who will naturally gravitate and look at Rightmove. Rightmove is not one of the number one um, websites um, in the country in terms of hits, especially around that Christmas period. And we're seeing the same again now. So looking at the positives, yeah, there's not a huge amount on, but those that are on, those that are on right move at the moment, those who are about to go live, those who are already live are getting some fantastic exposure, but also are getting a massive share of that market. Um, so where, yes, traditionally April, May, we'd be flooding the market with so many properties, spring market, I'm sure you've heard of that before. Um, but a lot of properties get lost in that because there's so much. Well, at the moment, those that are on and those that are sticking and those that are staying on the market and online are getting that maximum exposure. And whilst they might not be selling now, they're there, they're in the forefront of people's minds. So when this lockdown lifts, I can know, I mean, we've got three or four properties at the moment where people have shown an interest. They've seen the video tour, they've done virtual viewings and they want to see physically now see our houses when the lockdown lifts. So we know we've got a good five, six viewings already lined up um, on a number of different properties. And that's a massive positive positive. So, yes, there may be a pause. But, hey, at the moment, those that are still on are getting maximum exposure. So that's a great thing. So uh, you're talking rubbish, Jack. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I'm not very argumentative anyway. I agree with you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, coming on to the next one, then, which I know you've mostly touched on. But um, again, I'm going to try and go on the negative because I think it will work for people that might have different opinions during this time. So existing sellers stay on the market with the total available stock for sale down just 2.6 since lockdown. So i.e. meaning so many people have stayed on. They've stayed on the market. Now, I'm going to battle that. I'm going to go the other way because um, we have, you know, let's be totally honest. We have had a couple of our, our really lovely clients who are very loyal to us um, and are really ready to, to relaunch when this is all over. But they have decided to, to pause going back to that market pause. And they don't have decided to, to come off the market for now and they want to relaunch when we're back. So I guess, Mike, then if I'm if I'm one of those lovely clients that we have and I've said, you know, and I, I get that. I get why you would want to come off because that having that kind of um, virtual viewing it might not be something I'm familiar with. I might not be OK with with Skype or, you know, or, or WhatsApp calling or video calling or whatever. Um, so I want to just I want to take it off. What's the point of me being on now? You know, if you guys can't come out, you can't come and see me at home. You can't talk to me. How are we going to get that face to face communication? How are you going to sell my home now? I know we've done that, by the way, but how, how are you going to sell my home now? Um, why don't I just take it off? So, yeah, absolutely. And it's a debate we have with all our clients over Christmas. What's the point? Um, we don't want people in our yeah. house while the Christmas builds up and there's stuff everywhere. Um, I completely agree. You know, um, I never used to agree with that point until I became a family and saw um, how much mess kids come with, um, especially around the Christmas time. Um, but. Yeah, I, you know, I could say I agree, but this is where video tours have become a huge. So the majority of the properties that, that have taken a break during this lockdown period are the, the ones without video tours um, because, you know, photos are great. And, and Rob, our photographer we've spoken to before. Hi, Rob. Um, he is brilliant and he does a great job at showing our properties in the best possible light. But nothing compares to actually seeing it in a video we we this is corny but we've used the, the phrase you know if a picture tells a thousand works or tells a story of a thousand words imagine what a video can do it really gives you a sense of how the property flows um how you move through the property what the area is like and and you get you get a feeling it's not the same feeling you get from being there but you get a feeling of what the property's like so to counter that i think um 
if you're not au fait with uh, the, the technology and, and the like to Skype and WhatsApp and, and, and all that sort of thing. Um, worryingly, my dad's an IT consultant and every time I video call him, all I see is up his nostrils, you know, so um, even he's not. I think you, you had a conversation with your mum's ear the other day, didn't you, Jack? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just looking into her ear. Oh, <laughs> so we completely fully appreciate some people aren't au fait um, with, with the technology. And I think for those people, you know, and, and, and especially um, we've got a couple of clients who are uh, of, a, of an older age um, and can't risk having people come into the house then yes maybe taking that break and that pause is a good thing but for the majority of people on the market you've got to stay on and you've got to stay firm it's kind of a bit of a gamble but you've got to really hold tight um and, and ride this out and and let's say we, we're, we're we're really pleased to report we've had a few sales now um one on a particularly large property in, in Duddleswell that was on for 950,000 so we're absolutely you know really really chuffed that we've been managed to to do that and that's because our clients have stayed firm and they, they've used that technology that we at Rolling Orange have really embraced in the last six months using the you know YouTube channel using Inside RG using Facebook Instagram all these modern types of technology and marketing techniques that's what you want to ha- you know harness in on and, and jump on the back of an agent you know like Rolling Gorringe who can offer all of that free of charge um, and help you get sold and, and that that is really a key thing yeah definitely. so that's that's, that's how I would counter that point. no it's good so you say wrong is- again I know we keep saying I know we keep saying it, but yeah, I, I agree. Um, so on this next point, so this is a point from Right Move um, on on their blog side of their page, um, and and I'm going to take a, a discussion on this, Mike, if that's all right to start with. Um, yeah. So the second the second part of this point, actually, Mike's just answered really really well. But agents focus on holding together sales already agreed and explore virtual viewings and valuations to keep activity bubbling. I think Mike's already taken the virtual viewing and, and valuation thing. It certainly is still bubbling. I think that initial first point, and I'm going to go a little bit positive here because I can't help it. Agents focus on holding together sales already agreed. Absolutely. That is something that um, Roland Gorings do every single day. We don't have a day where we say on a Monday, we're going to chase that sale. We're going to make sure everyone's doing the right thing. The solicitors are, you know, keeping everyone up to date. We can go back to our clients. Keep we do that from Monday to Saturday. Mike does Sundays. We do it Monday to Saturday. Um, every single day we touch base with everyone keeping you know keep you updated on what's happening on yourself so yes certainly the focus is still there now and and of course more than ever because we don't have people coming into our offices you know we don't have those um that continuing custom at the moment unfortunately which is a is a huge shame and and, and not being able to spend time with with our clients and and actually having face-to-face conversations but that's something that we do anyway and i think that that is something that estate agents can still do so you know a hundred percent you can still sell your property you can still move we're doing it you know we're, we're hoping to um move two different um sets of people this week if we can in the right way going by the government guidelines of course we're certainly not doing anything underhand um removals is a very big thing at the moment because the bar have said you know that, that, that removals have to stop if you can move yourself you know safely or however people are doing it it is still happening so yes agents are still focusing on sales that are already put together but not just the ones that are poised to um or oh, we've lost mike there but i think he'll come back in a moment not just the sales that are poised to exchange and complete i think even the ones that are not um and and are, and are only just being agreed we're still putting the same amount of effort in as we would do in the office um not more, not less. We're still doing our job exactly the same. And that's the way Mike and I always work, um, giving it 100 percent all the time. So I think um, it's not just a focus during this period. I just want to want to touch on that. So I guess I've been a little bit negative to that. But um, yeah, uh, uh, is there anything you want to add on that, Mike? No, I think, you know, uh, again, taking that positive spin, um, yeah. because of the way Jack and I are and how sad we are, um, simple as that, we, we love our jobs, we love what we do, we love speaking to our clients, we love the relationship we've got with some of our solicitors we work with, the guys at Ricks and K, like guys at Dawson Hart, mm-hmm. Becky, we absolutely love at Dawson Hart, um, you know, uh, Vanessa, uh, you know, we, uh, Richardson Property Lawyers, um, Sarah at Morgan Kelly. We've got some really great relationships with these guys. Um, and so we enjoy speaking to them more than anything. So, you know, as, as Jack said, they're all still working. We're all still working. And we still want to get you to that point of exchange and completion or at least to exchange ready for when this lockdown sort of uh, lifts, which, again, we've got another properties on. So. I guess if you're needing to sell, wanting to sell, desperate to sell, um, interested to sell, um, do it. Give us a call because we can get you that buyer and we can get things moving. And that's a real key. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We, and as Mike says, with the help of the, the great conveyances that we we have good relationships with, um, yeah, they're making it happen too. So it's just, you know, that, uh, as Mike said before about, you know, staff being furloughed. Yeah, it's difficult because you're, you know, there's there's not as many of you dealing with things um, and, and helping out and having your team around you and and have, and being together in a team. You know, it's, it's tough. So but it is still happening. Um, the next point. So, um this is another point from right move. I'm just going to read some information, Mike, to you here. Yeah. This starts on a negative, kind of picks up again. So visits to right move fell by around 40 percent, so a huge amount um, at the time of the lockdown announcement when property was understandably not at the front of people's minds. But has now started to recover across the last week. Um, while demand has naturally been much lower than earlier in the year, current behaviour on the site shows many homeowners researching their plans for the future. Right Moves recently re um, relaunched sold prices section has recovered more quickly since the lockdown, with page views now running just 20 percent lower than usual levels. So that is a big that's a really important thing, I think, of course, on this, you know, at the time of this um, lockdown no one was thinking about you know we were we uh, even us as a state agency who do this day in day out and help people move our initial reaction was I, i'd certainly know this for, for roland gorringe as a whole company was is everyone okay is you know is everyone are everyone's families okay are our clients okay is anyone ill what can we do mike and i have been talking every day about how we start raising money for the nhs and that was at the forefront of our of everyone's minds at that point and as mike says of course you know you're sitting at home you're spending a lot of time at home being in lockdown and and the sort of um stay home um guidance that the, 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 the government has advised um and there, there do become times where you think actually now might be the right time to move well this is over you know why why are we here we need well, that Base. we need that extra room yeah. um so it might well, be the trigger yeah 100 percent. and and i think the big positive i think it's been on on, on that point about about the resurgence of the market and people saying oh that's it the market's dead this year it's not um the big thing is the one thing i i think is key is and again i've got i've got friends who, who unfortunately been furloughed but they've got on with doing their houses up um and they've been thinking about moving for a while haven't had the time to you know finish that bathroom paint that ceiling do the garden they've gone out and done that now um i know my wife and i we're not looking to move but but we've been working on the house and getting it to exactly how we want but actually we've now decided by having the four of us here um uh, my son ben who comes with so much stuff um we've realized this house isn't big enough for us and we can't afford to move but we're actually going to look to do an extension um on, on our living room just to give us that bit more space um and you know so he's got a little play area uh, and what have you so again we we kind of um you know we, we've we've identified that and then whilst we might not be moving others who can afford to move are going to want you know to go and and most importantly their houses are in great condition because they've been at home for this four weeks doing bits and pieces to them so i think there's going to be a really huge positivity and and whilst people might be a little bit nervous i think the way i see it and the way I, i'm hoping for is june july and august are going to be a huge three months for us to really get things back on their feet market wise and and you know there are going to be buyers out there that, that need that extra space or actually have been in lockdown looked around and gone we've got far too much here let's downsize so um you know yeah. i really think again in the same way there's always that new year resurgence resurgence after christmas the same sort of attitude i think yeah. um, will, will come to light yeah and that's a really good point mike you just said about you know particularly for for you and the family looking to extend that is something that we love to help with. You know, we are not just here to help you sell. We want you to end up in your home. So even if now, you know, you want some advice on actually, you know, you've got some time on your hands, you're at home, you want to talk to an agent about extending. Is it the right thing to do? Will it add value? What will it cost? Um, Mike and I are at the end of the, you know, the whole of Rolling Gorge, we're at the end of a phone. Please let us know. We're happy to come on a video call. We can come on together and share our, our thoughts with you. Um, even if it's just to extend, you're not thinking about moving, we'd love to help. We've got some wonderful relationships with some great architects, um, you know, th 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 that we can put you in touch with. Um, then please let us know. You know, if that's something that you're thinking about doing, as Mike says, moving home is a really, really, really costly thing to do. It might be that actually doing an extension, adding, a, you know, adding some small, a small amount of space might be a lot more affordable and it might be the right thing for you and your family to do because, you know, Mike, you know, where he's situated in his home, he, he loves it there. He's really happy. As he says, he just wants a little bit more room. Maybe it's a much easier, you know, route to go down. If you've got, you know, a, bit, a, a busy lifestyle, family, it's difficult to move. Mike and I want to help, even if it's just to talk through, you know, should you, 
even if you want to talk about decorating, ring us. Let us know. We want to help. We're passionate about it. Um, so, yeah, any of those little points. It's not just about moving, guys. That's a really, I think that's a really key thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. I kind of want to, uh, I found a really good point. Sorry, I've just missed this. Just to sort of wrap things up, things. I think this is a really key one. Um, and we won't stop Mike talking for a good 15 minutes anyway, so we will have to wrap up after this. And um, what will it take to kickstart the market again once lockdown is eased? What will it take? Shall I give you my thoughts first? Go for it. I think, I think that's already started. I think, you know, the, the fortunate weather that we've been blessed with has put people, you know, uh, has put us in a, in a positive mindset, I think, during this time. Everyone likes sunshine. And I think that kind of bubbling thing that's happening, the stats that we've just spoken about on Right Move, that the lift in the way that, that we're seeing things at Roland Gorge, you know, a lot more inquiries coming through, a lot more viewing requests, virtual viewing requests, valuations. Things are really starting to pick up. So whilst everyone's still, you know, extremely concerned about this faceless enemy that, that we've got um, and we are trying to fight and will fight and, and we'll win, um, there is a lot more positivity and, and a lot more kind of... Um, yeah, just just I think a lot more of a buzz. And I think that is already starting to develop. So whilst there's certainly things that at Roland Gorringe we are going to do and we want to do um, and some things that we won't tell you that we're doing because we've got some some good, you know, fun plans for when this is over. Um, I think that is already starting to develop on its own anyway, without the help of us being too, you know, buzzy. I think that that kind of core support um, that the upfield has um and and you know across across sussex i think that's already starting to develop a little bit but yeah mike please sorry <laughs> well I'm, I'm annoyed now and, and want to have an argument because you stole my point you just talk and stole my point and and i think um i think um uh, by the way we're pathetic in this arguing debating thing but um that's another story <laughs> well, I, we don't get on like this in the office i think it's because we had too much time away from you, Jeff. Do, don't um, <laughs> you want to see a debate i'll bring my wife in then you'll see a debate but um <laughs> Uh, so uh, positivity is 100 percent key. And that's the thing we've tried to maintain since day one of lockdown with us with our videos right through to, to today and, and, and beyond. And I think that's what's going to kickstart this market is, is number one vendors holding fast. If you're on with us, you know, if you're on with another agent, especially and your agent day one that we come out of lockdown, start to ring you up saying, you're right, you've got to reduce, you've got to reduce, you've got to reduce. Don't reduce your property unless they have got some really key evidence or we present you with some really key evidence that says this is why. Don't you know, it's the Brexit mentality that that, that was there when, when Brexit happened that you got to reduce because of Brexit. Well, no, you don't. And, and, and it's going to be the same coming out of this. You know, unless you've been on for, for months and months and months and there's real hard evidence your agent can tell you about. Don't let them bully you into reducing your price just because we've had coronavirus and we've had the lockdown. That's number one. Number two is, yeah, just all out positivity. Um, if you've been working on your house, you can have some beautiful homes, that are freshly decorated and freshly ready to go. People are going to want to see them. Agents are hungry for business at the moment. Like we said at the start of this, there hasn't been a huge amount. And again, you want an agent that you know that are going to come and like us, come and grab that house, do every, throw everything at it from video tours to social media marketing, right moves, Zoopla, on the market, prime location, our website, Facebook, YouTube, everything um, to get you sold. And I think that is the key is, is positivity is what's going to kick start this market. Positive buyers, positive vendors and, and most importantly, positive agents who, you know, I'm not being flippant. We should never forget what the country has been through with coronavirus. Um, we should never forget what the NHS have done for us and, and, and what they continue to do for us. But I think we need to, in a property sense, put it to the back of our mind and, you know, and, and, and really push forward and have that positivity. Um, and, and, and they're saying only in the market sense, we I'm not, you know, say not being flippant. We will never forget what this country has been to, what families have been through um, and, and what the NHS have, have amazingly done for us and will continue to do for us in the future. But from a property point of view, we need positivity and we need to drive forward. And um, so this, that's my point. Yeah. No, it's great. And I think, you know, on that, we keep saying positivity, but it's nice to say it, it you know, it's good to, to feel positive. I think what helps um, certainly us at Roland Gorringe is, is you might have seen last week on Instagram and Facebook that we put up some um, quotes or comments, shall I say, that our clients have made um, about us. And that really lifts us. I can't tell you how 
um, wonderful it is to have that that support from people being so kind and, and get who we are. You know, as we said before on last week's episode and, and on every episode, I think um, please see these as advice to to kind of just help give you some guidance um, to keep in touch with you. But more than anything, just keep that positive vibe going. Um, Mike and I are extremely happy, buzzy people, um, and it's not meant to come across in a, in a patronising or, or um, sort of lectural way. I know we call it um, classroom, but it is really just to have a bit of fun and a bit of interactive um, kind of chat with you. We don't pretend to know everything. Um, Adrian does. We, we don't. Um, but... Uh, um, yeah, I think that that's the key thing. So thank you for your continued support. Thank you for everyone for, for your amazing comments, because that does really lift us. You've you got to remember, Mike and I are literally just looking at our screens talking, um, which is <laughs> tough. <laughs> it is tough. And we're used to being in, in really busy, hectic lifestyles. So, um, yeah, we're here to support you. Thank you for supporting us. And um, you guys are amazing. Thank you. You're amazing, Mike. Thank you. You're amazing. Thanks. That was yes, a good I debate. Am. We didn't fall oh, out. Yeah. I want to give you a virtual hug. Like we oh. didn't fall out. I feel that like I feel like if if I picked on a couple of years, I feel like Darren and Joy would have been watching that, dying for us to punch. They would have been. They wanted a fight, didn't they? Sorry, yeah. guys. Yeah, Sorry. I feel like Darren <laughs> attack us when he watches this. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll tune back in uh, next week for episode uh, six, four, five, six, six. Yeah, um, and we look we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, Thanks Jack. Bye.